What's up, guys? Smoke with me. We gonna talk. I want to keep it real with y'all because, by the way, this is CBD. Um, I want to keep it real with y'all, right? I had to get calm. This is my calm. I don't want to be too aggressive, too angry, and all this different type of stuff. Or sounding too angry, because I don't even be angry. I just be passionate. Where you going? Can I get some water? I don't have any bottled waters, baby. Okay, guys, I'm back. I didn't have any bottled waters for real, but I went and fixed them some ice water. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to talk, y'all. All right, so, here's the thing. I wanted to be clear on us women and fellas too. I feel like, and this is just my honest opinion, everybody may not agree with me when it comes down to this, when I say this, but I honestly feel like men should not engage in female drama and females should be able to stand firm on what they say and do like especially when it comes down to they man you know what i'm saying all right for instance me let me tell you a little bit of, about me if i feel like it's a female trying to wedge your way in my relationship or what I got going on, I don't have no problem telling them, hey, what's up with that? First, I'm going to address my dude and let him know, hey, this need to be resolved. But after I, after I see that he's not doing anything about it, then I'm going to address the female. But if I see that my dude trying to stop me from addressing the female, I feel like it's something up. Now... This only is regarding, like, if it's a situation where somebody can physically get in contact with somebody. This is not something that you just, oh, I'm going to just assume uh, they dreaming about each other and they just doing, man, get out of that fucking illusion. All right? How can a person, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's a soulful thing. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, how can you get mad about that? It's fucking crazy. When your body... Let me tell you something. When you go to sleep, your body has no control of what enters it once your soul leaves your body for that temporary amount of time. So you really mad for no fucking reason. Now, if it's a situation where it was physical, like you met somebody at a party and that female, you know what I'm saying? You notice old girl saying something to your man and she know you don't like that shit. He know you don't like that shit. First of all, that man need to know how to shut them down. Shut them hoes down for me. I don't need that extra friendly stuff when it come down to me. Because when a dude come approach me, I'm not going to be real friendly with them. When it come down to you. Period. It's one of those take me as I am. Because I'm not going to play about you. That's what I mean by not playing about you. Sometimes, you know, people be trying to make things more than what it is. You just look at the reality of things for what it is. And I feel like females need to stop sending their niggas on female trips. Do you hear what I'm saying? Stop sending your nigga out on female trips. You don't like her. You can't stand her. So you just going to tell your nigga that she's attacking you. First of all, you got to have... A, let me tell you something. It's going to be... It's, it's trillions of women in this world. It's actually more women in this world than it is men. 
You don't know how to stand up on your own two feet and be like, hold up, bitch. Hold the fuck up. This me right here. What the fuck you doing? And be firm about this shit. I think a lot of people get that confused with you should not address the female if your nigga messing up. That's if your nigga messing with them. But some females done got the memo. They done received the fucking hint. And they still coming. They are relentless. Some bitches are relentless. They are relentless. And they ruthless. And they don't give a fuck. And that's when you have to come in and be like, okay, I know, you know what I'm saying, he ain't gonna hit you because he's a man, but bitch, the charge won't affect me as easily as it would with him. Hands off, bitch. Access denied, bitch. His job as a man is to make sure my home is protected. Make sure the kids is protected. Make sure he, he, he his wife is protected. That's the role of a of a man. Me, I'm protecting my children. I'm watching out for anybody coming towards my husband or my man, you know what I'm saying? And let him know if he got a snake somewhere in his grass. And make sure ain't none of these top bitches coming for him. That's what I'm supposed to do. The minute he start defending the, the thought bitches, that's when we gonna have a problem. That's where the big misunderstanding come in at. But that's if he my man. Listen to what I'm saying. That's if he my man. Some of y'all getting that shit confused. Y'all claiming men that ain't claiming you. And then say, well, I'm just I'm just defending what's mine. It can't be yours. Ain't no way. Look at the circumstances at hand. Y'all be having the thing twisted. Then y'all put y'all men in these situations. Like this shit don't even come down on your heart. Or like, first of all, now your man, not only you got a bitch that don't like you. And now your nigga mad at you too. Because you should have handled that shit like a woman. Handle your shit like a grown ass woman. If he find if he say he your man and you his woman and he's constantly saying somebody else is a problem, you ain't gotta go behind the scenes, sneak to do this, fuck their life up and this and that and the other bitch that's childish. You say something to her directly. Say something to her directly. Trust me, I have done it. Ask them. Ask the men. They found they self trying to bite me before I even got to the chick. That's why they, we ain't together. But I, I don't just talk shit. I walk up to you. I'm not, I'm not, that social media shit, all that, oh, she just talking, she just saying it because, no, I'm really like that. I am really like that. I'm very emotional. And when it comes down to my man, bitch, I see about you. I want to know. I got questions. And only you going to answer them. I don't want his answer. I want yours. Because there's something about you that can't let up and I need to know what it is. Is it something he said? Because if it was something he said and you saying that's your man 
and all this stuff going on. Bitch, let me help you get him. Let me help you. You ain't got to do all that extra shit. I'm, I'm about to help you get your man. Just as just as quick as a, just as quick as I said, okay. I don't hold on to nobody who don't hold on to me. That's just period. And all this senseless, oh, I'm going back and forth with this. Did you got to be bored and you ain't got shit to do with your life if you got time for that shit. You got that kind of time. Seriously. How I feel like I agree with a lot of men when it comes down to females hanging with single friends. I got a friend right now. She married. The last time she saw me, I had a man. As long as I ain't got no man, I ain't finna just be kicking in and parlaying. I'm not finna do that. That's gonna make our man feel uncomfortable because we got two different realities and views of life. So I respect people's marriage. You got a whole home at home. I don't care if it's just a baby mama situation. You got a whole foundation going on at home. I ain't finna, I ain't finna be... I don't give a fuck if you separated. Is a reason why she's still around. That's how a whole lot of sneaky shit be taking place and y'all just be like, oh, they just, you know, it ain't no thing. It's not a big deal. Bitch, it is a big deal because you in the middle of it. And if some shit take place or go down, guess who gonna point? Guess where all the fans get pointed at? You. Because you should have seen it. You should have saw it coming. And then, you know, like, even like, I'm in a, if I, if I'm in a relationship, I mean, believe it or not, and that's why a lot of females, they be like, she was my friend and she got with that man. If you single, I can't, nothing against you and I wouldn't have nothing against you or anything like that. It's just, I ain't finna be kicking it with you like that and I got a whole man at home. I'm gonna kick it with somebody who got the same situation I got. Maybe they can help me see things from a different perspective. If I kick it with you and my man doing something and my man, and, and he might have did something, but he didn't mean no harm by it, you going to take it as, see, that's why, I ain't, that's why I ain't trying to get no relationship. That's, that, that's why, see, that's why I can't deal with no man. Versus if I kick it with somebody who got a man and he got a relationship and he might have made some, some of the similar mistakes, she might be telling me, yeah, he yeah, he messed up, but see, here's some things you could do to kind of spice it up and make it work. That's how you do it. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, your man gonna, your man gonna fuck up sometime. They're not perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. You ain't perfect. But... You know, when a person is going through a healing process, which means they're single and they're healing, because that's what they're doing. When you single, you this is where you know a person is healed and they're single. They heal and they're single, they still can give you good advice. If they if they single and they still can't give you no good advice, they can't give you no positive aspect or perspective of how to look at a situation, that person is not here. They still healing. You can't get no advice from somebody who's still healing. You get you some advice from somebody who who listening and understand where you coming from. Cause them people, let me tell you something. A person who unhealed that been through so much shit, they'll give you all kind of list of shit that they went through and try to compare it to your situation and now you looking at your man all cock out in the sideways as if shit he the problem when he doing everything he can to make it perfect not everything gonna be perfect though that's like living with somebody and expecting them not to fart you can't expect perfection from a person that you're with
that's like them getting with you and expecting you not to have bad breath, bad breath in the morning. I don't give a fuck how early time that you get up before him to go brush your teeth. You still had to go brush them damn teeth in that time. And gargle a little bitch, swish it around. You still had to do that. Quit looking for perfection in these men. And if you just a chick on the outside of your relationship and your man constantly telling her man fall back and she won't, that is not a time to be uh, bringing up past issues to your man about what he used to do to you. If he ain't doing that now, he's not the problem. The bitch is the problem. Just being real. And y'all got to get confident with that. I don't want no man who ain't willing to let me see about a female if some shit... Hey, hold up. He done told you numerous of times, no. What part of that you not getting? Instead, y'all put put all type of shit in your nigga ear about a female, and you could have just simply handled that shit on your own. He's supposed to protect you from the from the men that's coming after you that you done told no. Because you're supposed to remain feminine. And never should be a time where you have to get masculine with other men when you got a man. And even then, you know, if it get too far, you let your man know, hey, baby, you ain't got to take it there. You ain't got to go there with him. I'm not going nowhere. You got me. But you still got to let him be a man at the same time. Let nobody come piss on your tree. Those who don't know what that mean when somebody come piss on your tree, think of a lion. You think a lion going to sit there and let a whole nother animal come right by his lioness and his cubs and start peeing on the tree that they, they laying under? Hell no. You going to hear him roar first. And you never seen the lioness get up before the lion do. That's king and queen shit. If your man got to defend you, let your man defend you. But don't let it get too far where you don't have to, when you find yourself not seeing him forever. And sometimes you got to let a female know, bitch, back up. Of course your man is not gonna be he ain't gonna let you get too far with a female where you have to get in that mode cause he gonna be like nah it's good baby you got me fuck that shit I got a new vape, y'all. Um, F bar. It's called Miami Mint. <laughs> I like it though. But for real though, don't let don't let nobody. Hell no. Nah. Some of these females get too bold, and then they feel like they can run your household. I had good times, and I had. Not so good times, even during the course of my marriage, where a female thought she was gonna get up in my dude's face. Well, he was my dude at the time. She thought she was gonna get up in his face. The husband had already tried to get in his face, and he handled that. But then when 
His wife tried to get up in his face. I handled that. Martin and Gina style. Get out, bitch. This ain't what you want. You ain't gonna be coming after him with no knife, no none of that. I went up and picked up a, a gallon of Jose Cuevo on her ass. Bitch, I'll knock you the fuck out. Don't touch him. And I also had moments where, shit, I feel like I had to defend myself when it came down to my husband. You ain't gonna put your hand on me in front of my child. You ain't gonna put your hand on me, period. If anybody know anything about Memphis, I stayed in Orange Mountain at the time. He wanted to start shit with me on Hacks Cross. His ass found himself walking with one shoe, bleeding by the foot from Hacks Cross, walking. Why? Because he wanted to defend the female. And thought he was going to get up with me for her. Luckily for her, where she was at, it was right next to where he was, where I left him at. Cause I was gonna, if we was, if we, if we was just a little bit away, if we was on the other side of town, he tried that. I was gonna go where she was at, and he knew that. I had another situation where a dude knew how crazy I was when he came down. He had the nerve, the audacity. To have another bitch in his car to go to the casino. I walked up to the car. I said, hey, how you doing? Just as calm. Where y'all going? He had somebody else driving. He had another dude driving the car and had her in the front seat. He was sitting in the back. I asked her what her name was. I said, oh, hey, how you doing, such and such? So y'all going to the casino, huh? Hmm. Then I looked at the dude, I said, hey, can I talk to you? I said, man, fact, stay right there. And before you knew it, he told the dude, he said, hey, pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off. Hurry up, pull off. Don't play with my emotions. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If I had to defend myself from, from a man, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? Or the female, you know what I'm saying? When he mine, he mine. I'm not going to play with you about him. I'm not going to do all that without using any profound language. I'll be just as sweet. Hey, how you doing? One false move and I'm... <laughs> but that's just... You're not finna do that. Respect my mind. Yeah, I'll be blessed.